and just, you know, tell you what I have found most helpful and I've learned since I've been on this journey. Um, one thing I really like about keto is that you're eating foods that are are not really processed or not really like you're not eating frozen dinners you're not eating um, you don't really have to eat out much because you want to prepare your food yourself so that you know what you're cooking it with um, there is a few restaurants that I'll go to um, and I pretty much am safe eating at um, you know sometimes I'll go to uh, we have a local place called cowboy chicken and they do rotisserie chicken and you see it on the skewer thing being cooked and um, they even have a, a, I guess, a nutrition guide and you can see what they're, how they cook it or how many calories and carbs and things are in their food. So we eat that quite a bit. And there's a few Mexican restaurants we've gone to and we've had um, food from there as well in, in a barbecue place. But mostly we do eat at home and we eat pretty clean. We eat a lot of, um, well, of course, a lot of meat. Um, we eat bacon. Um, we eat sausage, we eat um, hamburger, um, we eat steaks, we eat um, pork, we eat chicken, um, we do eat some fish like salmon, um, we also will eat cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, zucchini. I've really learned a lot about recipes through Pinterest, found a lot of recipes and from online blogs that have helped me and I've started preparing meals through them. And I mentioned one of our favorites last night with the avocado, but another one is um, that we've done that we really like is to um, get the rice cauliflower and say my husband, he's, he's actually from South Africa and he likes curries and sometimes he'll make a curry, but instead of using rice, we'll use riced cauliflower and it's really good um it really is not you know we really haven't missed the rice um, using the rice cauliflower um, some people i know say they don't like the taste of the rice cauliflower you do adjust it as an adjustment um, i've also found using radishes instead of potatoes is good uh, if you boil those or if you roast those they take on the flavor more of a potato after they've been roasted, roasted and they're soft, in putting your seasonings on them, um, help them taste really good. And so we do roast um, our radishes. Um, we've also eaten celery, and I'm trying to think what else is a big vegetable. We, well, we do a lot of spinach. We like spinach and we make salads with spinach. Um, we, we eat that frequently. Um, we also like to have, um, sometimes we, we want something a little bit sweet and or more, I want something sweet. I've learned to make um, some desserts with almond flour and Lily's chocolate. And hopefully I can share some of those in the future with y'all. But there's a lot of recipes out there. There's really no excuse for not being able to do this program. There are so many alternatives to um, just mainstream recipes that you can adjust the recipe. I was telling my husband last night, I really would love to have one of his milk tarts he makes from South Africa. And he looked up online and found he can make it with almond milk, or yeah, almond milk and almond flour. And instead of using um, the self-rising flour, just to add baking powder. And so he's supposed to make me one tonight. And um, they're really good. It's almost like a flan, um, but it's called a milk tart. And he, he said that, you know, he just won't make it with a crust. And he said his grandmother used to make it without a crust. So he's gonna make one tonight without a crust. So um, it's very, very good. I'm looking forward to trying a keto-friendly one. And um, it's just, you know, it's it's been really, really an easy adjustment as far as, um, eating this way because I feel like for everything that I like or have enjoyed that wasn't keto, I've been able to find things that are keto that are just as good or I've learned to adapt to them because I know it's better for me. And of course, you know, the ultimate goal for me is to get healthy for my family. And used to, I would get caught up in, 
you know, what does the scale say? And I'm not gonna say I don't still weigh all the time because I do, but I am more content and more settled in eating this way as a lifestyle and knowing that I can do it and I don't feel really deprived. And because we wanna get healthy for our family, we, wanna, we have a young son and we wanna be around for him for a long time. And so we're just working towards that one day at a time. And um, I'm thankful we have a doctor who, I don't know if I can mention him on here, but he is really good. He's, he, when, I, when I found uh, Dr. Ken Berry's uh, blog on YouTube, or whatever you call it, um, one of the things I liked about him was he reminded me of the way my doctor thinks. And so I'm thankful that I have a doctor that agrees with this type of diet plan. He actually <clears throat> has lost a lot of weight as well, um, eating low carb uh, keto. And so he's he's all for it. He's 100% he's in. And, and I went to the doctor last month because I had an appointment with another doctor there. Um, for something and he he's my main primary doctor and um, he looked at me he goes everything okay and because I wasn't coming to see him that day and I said yeah I'm just here to see dr. Renee and he's like okay he said well he said um, he goes you're looking good and so he could he could tell the weight loss and he's already after I guess a month in on keto he had already uh, lowered my thyroid medication which I was really excited about and he told me he's really monitoring my blood pressure and for me to monitor it, which I never, it never really runs high, but I guess because of my weight, he felt I needed to be on something. And so my husband and I both have been on blood pressure medicine and he's already wanting to reduce those. And so I'm thankful for that. And I just believe it's a year of getting off all these medications and just getting healthy. And I'm very excited about that. Um, I know that many of us have, and I spoke about this a few weeks ago to our ladies at our church. Um, I'm, I'm the pastor's wife over our Spanish ministry at our church. And um, we were talking about, or I was talking about, you know, a new year and about moving forward and not looking back. And I know a lot of us have struggled with our weight for many years. And me as well, I started out um, when I was very young, I did not have a weight problem. And probably when I was about seven or eight years old, um, my mom, being the wonderful person that she is, took in three cousins who had um, had a very bad home situation and basically didn't have always food available to them. And when they moved in with us, it was like, if you didn't eat, you weren't gonna get it later, so you better eat. And so I, during that time, I just learned some bad eating habits. And after they moved in, and I don't blame them at all, I love all of them, and I love my mom for her heart. Um, but I just learned to eat when, you, when it was there, you better eat all you can or you're not gonna get it later. And I mean, before that time they moved in, we would have, my parents would have ice cream in the house and it would be there for, a long time we didn't have to rush and eat it when they moved in when there was ice cream bought you just got as much as you could when you could because it wouldn't be there that evening um, we used to go out to dinner as a family every week and when they moved in we couldn't afford really to go out to dinner because they ate a lot and my dad would cook for an army literally it was like he would make things in big pots of spaghetti and things that would go a long way to feed all these children and um, so I learned just some bad habits and I began to pick up weight. And um, when I was about 15, my husband, my, my, my father was very into exercise and health for himself. And he was a jogger. He probably jogged 20 miles a day. I remember as a youth, you know, seeing my dad come in in the winter time from jogging with literally icicles, icicles hanging from his beard because he jogged even when it was freezing cold outside. So when I was about 15, he was concerned about me and he put me on a diet. And I remember during that time, I did not like him very much because when all my friends were going places and doing stuff, he had me at the track with him walking and jogging and exercising. And I remember going, you know, sometimes I would be jog I'd be walking as fast as he was jogging. I learned to speed walk. And I lost though about 45 pounds during that time. And I remember during some of my teenage years, I didn't have 
I wasn't overweight because I was I had learned such healthy habits with him exercising I exercised a lot and so I've had you know that background in my life but my weight has gone up and down and I would join a gym and or I would join Weight Watchers I would join different diets and I would try you know to do well and I would do well for a while but then maybe I lost weight and then I would get off the bandwagon of the way I was eating and then I would end up gaining it all back then some. And I think my highest weight I ever reached was 320, 320 pounds. And um, I haven't been there in quite a while, thank God. But um, still, I've been in the 200s and higher 200s, I'll just say that. And so, um, in 2013, I was very sick and I was hospitalized twice. During that year, I lost quite a bit of weight and it was very unhealthy and I was malnutrition per se. And so I had to gain weight because they said the way I'd lost weight was so unhealthy that I needed to put weight on. And literally my body, once I began to put weight on, held on to everything because it had been starved. And so I went through, my body just went through a lot of trauma during that time. And so it's been real difficult for me to find something that I could, you know, start again where my body would let go of the fat because your body doesn't want to let go of fat. It wants to hold on to it. And keto has been an easy, um, I guess, program for me where I feel like I'm now finally starting to be able to lose weight again. And I'm doing it in a healthy way and I'm eating... I know it's a high fat diet, but at the same time, once you're losing weight and, you're, you, and you have weight to lose, I don't think you should go overboard with the fat because you need to also leave room for your body to burn its own fat. And so we do eat, say we do eat bacon, but we do watch our calorie intake. Um, our doctor told us we really didn't need to watch our calorie intake right now. and. It's not that we really watch it, but it's just the end. Of, we do record everything we eat every day. We have an app that we use, and it records our carbs and our um, our uh, calories and our fat and everything in there. And so it, I think it's called Stupid Keto or something. It's just a real easy keto. It's got a picture of a pig on the front. If you see the app, I know a lot of people use. Um, what is that one called? Fitness Pal. I'm sure that's a good one too. Um, because it just helps you keep record of what you're eating every day. And a lot of times me and my husband get to the end of the day and when we look at our calories, sometimes we're not even at a thousand calories. Um, and so our doctor has wanted us to get more calories in. And so we're trying to do that, but we, we truly do feel satisfied a lot in the way we eat. And he said, as long as you're not starving and as long as you feel satisfied, then keep doing what you're doing the way you're doing it. And as you, you know, as you do it, if you do feel to eat more, then eat more. But we, we eat a lot. We do eat, normally I don't always eat breakfast. My husband has always eaten breakfast. He'll eat a couple of eggs in the morning and uh, then he'll eat lunch. We, neither one of us, rare, we rarely snack because we're not hungry and we eat lunch. And so, so most of the times my first meal will be um, usually around 12 or 1 o'clock and then we usually eat dinner between 5 30 and 6 and then we don't eat again till the next day and that's kind of how it's become on keto for me um, there there has been times where I feel like I have not I've not been losing and I'll add breakfast back in and I'll start losing again and so whenever I feel like I need to change up my diet program and the way I'm eating I'll I'll just change up the times I eat are, are even sometimes I'll add in a little bit more, um, more even more carbs. I've done that. Um, I we our carbs. Uh, the most we usually eat is up to twenty. Sometimes we don't reach twenty. Um, sometimes we may go over a few, um, depending on where we've eaten that day. But we overall have done very well as far as keeping our carbs in check and our our um, proteins and our fats. The macros they give you, um, it gives you, uh, for your age and for your weight and all that, it, it, it uh, calculates how many macros you should be eating on this keto app. And so we, pretty, we do pretty good as far as staying in it. But um, anyway, that's a little bit about me and the way that um, my weight issues began. 
Um, but I really do feel confident this year that it's a new year and it's a new season and it's a new time and it's time for me to just really get healthy and not only get healthy myself, but I want to help other people get healthy if I can help them in any way. I've had several people message me, text me, and encourage me um, to share with them. And so, and, and they wanted me to share with others. And so I, that's why I decided to go ahead and create this page. I've, I've watched a lot of channels and really enjoy them. And I know what I gleaned from those channels, um, somebody could glean from this one. So um, I just wanna be an encouragement to people today. I wanna, I wanna try to give more uh, channel worthy information. I know I'm just kind of talking right now. Um, once I get more comfortable and I'm set up better, I know that I'll be able to really get in there and, and share more and share more of my, my house, my day and everything. And um, I'm looking forward to learning with you because I'm learning too. And I hope that you enjoy this channel. If you have any questions for me, um, you can put them in the comments below. Be sure if you're watching this channel for the first time that you click the subscribe button so you can follow and click the bell beside it so you can see whenever I upload a new video. And I look forward to being on here again. I know I've just kind of gabbed a lot and I people that know me know I like to talk and I'm just gonna talk to you like you're sitting in my house with me and we're having a conversation. Of course, I'm trying to look at the camera and not at the, at the other chairs, but I will try to have conversation with you and I hope that it helps and I hope that you don't feel alone today, that you know that, that um, you're not alone in your journey. We're all on this journey to to a better health, better life. And for me, I have, you know, number one for me is my God. I, I, you know, spend my mornings, first thing in the morning, I wake up and I spend time with him in the morning and I talk to him and I read my Bible and I just get that focus with him so that the rest of the day, all these other things can work out. This gets right and then this gets right. And that's just, for me, I, that's my philosophy of the way that I feel my day needs to go. Um, but I hope that it can be an encouragement to you and I hope that I can um, be here to answer your questions and we can learn together and become friends. So that's it for right now. And I may do another one later. 